everybody, I'm Eric, that's Matt. We're back with another edition of Retro's Box Busters. This time, Okichi Jaws 2. Yeah. What do you know, Matt? Pretty simple, 59 card base set, 11 stickers. Okay. And all the retro -y goodness of the shark mania that took place in the 70s for, for films. Um, <laughs> you know, this was a... This was a this was basically the franchise that launched the summer blockbuster. Sure, Jaws was the one that really set it off. I've already opened the pack to, to kind of get an idea of what's going on. I'm not sure which one it was. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, this was the the follow up, the sequel, the non Steven Spielberg directed sequel, which made it less fun, massive, less of a classic. Okay, and less fun. Uh, this one was still decent. Um, Three and four, however, were not, and that's probably why three was the only one that got a card set to follow up. But hey, it's Shark Week. Yeah, we're uh, we're doing this because it's Shark Week and all the good stuff that Shark Week entails. And what better way to celebrate Shark Week than have a shark box break? You know what we need? We need we need Brooke in here. She loves sharks. Oh yeah, we should stop right now. We need Brooke. <laughs> we need Brooke. <laughs> all right, here's the stickers. Um, Oh, and I'm going to peel the gum off because the gum is literally sticking to the backs of it. You know, Peachy usually peels right off, but these were really bad when I tried. There's a sticker. And we'll go ahead and show a base card. There's Chief Brody looking for sharks. He only ends up finding bluefish. And on the back, you got a puzzle piece, which I believe forms the actual, uh, like, the, the poster. The poster of the, of the, of the film. Love, well, it's a Peachy, of course, so I love that it's in two languages. En français. En français. Uh, here's the classic. Here's the classic, uh, and I believe this was one of the posters, but this is one of the classic um, promo promo uh, photos, promo art. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jaws jumping out of the water and the water skier. And if people don't understand, this, this imagery of Jaws terrified everybody when we were kids. I mean, it was a, it was a big deal. We, we were afraid to swim in Lake Park because of because of sharks. <laughs> and it was like this little tiny lake that, that was in the middle of Ohio where there's no sharks to be found. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever seen this movie. None of these. You've never seen the second job? I don't think, like, none of this is, like, ringing a, ringing bell. a bell at all. Man, that gum is stuck firmly to yes, the back of that car. Wow. Here's another sticker. Here's another one of the one of the iconic images that I believe they made into a poster. Sure. And the tagline for that was just when you thought it was safe to go back into the water and it had the fin. Especially in a lake um, in Ohio. Yeah, in the lake in Ohio, <laughs> Lake Park. Here's another one of the classic posters. The monster attacks. They must say attack. So what I'm noticing here is how these things are cut. These look like they were cut with a wire almost. Uh, that's how Peachy did things yeah, back then. So right, I mean, this is this is something you would always see on a Peachy hockey. Yeah. Every time you saw a Peachy hockey, you would you would get this. Now, the first Jaws film, much to my dismay, did not have a card set. That would have been amazing. What? Nope. The first Jaws didn't have a card set. That would have been awesome if the first Jaws did have a card set, but didn't have a card set. So we're kind of out of luck there. Um, These... Ah, here's a cool here's a cool image from the film. This is when Chief Brody gets a call and they find an orca uh, that has been beached and it literally is just demolished. There's huge chomps of flesh taken out of it. Huh. So Shamu got wrecked by Jaws. Which is why they opened SeaWorld. Little known fact, yeah. Jaws was eating orcas, so. Yeah, Free Whitley's gonna get his revenge. Okay, Sea Explorer, no, I'm not. See, I'm not going down into the sea if there is a shark down there to eat me. I'm not doing it. Nope, no sharks. No. Well, you won't even go to the sea when there's sea lice, so. Yeah. <laughs> Little, Little sharks. All right. Little baby jellyfish. Little baby jellyfish. I'm noticing a lot of dupes in these packs, too, obviously, because yeah. there's only, what, what you said, 80-card 80, 80 base set? 70, or 59. 59, okay. So there's, there, yeah, it's not even a 60-card base set. Here's something else, too, that's going to be common you probably run into is there are going to be some off-cut issues. Yeah. OPG had issues with that back then with their, with is, their is this, at least their non-sports. What's four, is that four grams? Yeah. Wow. That's what the weight of the package on there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because Canada goes by the metric system along with the rest of the civilized world. Mm -hmm. Here in the United States, we say 
hell with you. We're going to go through and system. Yeah, so, uh, also want to give a shout out to our Russian overlords. who are going to be here next week. Thank you for uh, making this a seamless process. <laughs> Brody's jumping ship like the rest of us. No. But that's when Chief Brody is the the uh, the Amity launch boat has crashed because the shark scared him, and uh, now he's getting a plan to electrocute Jaws, the big the big cable. Uh, he's trying to rescue him. The cable comes out of the water, and here's a Chief Brody chewing out Mayor Vaughn for talking about Ray Emery. Oh man, we are just looking for trouble here today at Beckett, at the Beckett Universe. Um, here we go. These are getting these are getting really repetitive. Yeah, that, you just got to kind of. Here is a nice sticker of Chief Brody shooting at the bluefish. But I guess in the water. Then he, he mistake it. He mistake for the shark because it looked like a big. They're all together in a school. They look like a big shape in the water. And, I'm trying to get through these. And, you know, back then, there's you're not buying a whole box of this, are you? I mean, no kids. No. I mean, kid, you know, depending on the kid, you know, you, depending on how much money you had, you, if you yeah. really like this, you'd buy all the packs that were left. But usually, you know, by the time you got to the store, there weren't there weren't many packs left in the box. So Josh is so mean that he's attacking helicopters in this. Yep, that's a mean shark, bro. I like the Night of the Hunter. I'm guessing this is uh, this is supposed to be at nighttime, and even though I'm missing the, just the moonlight in the water. But yeah, man, when I was a kid, this Jaws was a, I was massive into sharks. Like clever fangirls into dinosaurs, I was into sharks. Um, so a lot, basically. Um, and uh, this guy looks like John C. Riley a little bit. <laughs> Shake and bake, Ricky Bobby. Shake and bake. <laughs> He's definitely got the fro for it, eh? Yeah. Here's a guy doing an ST plunge after Jaws hits his boat. Hey, he would be a good wrestler, man. Look at that. Look at that form. He could take a good bump. Yeah, he just fall good, good, good form. You know what we need for this video? What's that? We need the guy from uh, from Boston. It's a baby wheel, guy. It's a baby wheel, Jay. <laughs> It's a tuna, bro. It's a tuna. There's still good meat on that thing. Oh, my goodness. This is kind of a violent, not really a violent, but... Um, Come on, we've opened Fright Rags. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, it, for, this is one of the more violent scenes of the film, actually. And I never, I've never, i never seen this card, because I, I I had the top set at one time, and um, I've never seen this card. Trapped in the Inferno... So when the uh, the woman driving the boat, the water skier, after the water skier becomes an hors d'oeuvre, Jaws attacks the boat. Oh. She pours gasoline all over Jaws in, in the process herself and then shoots a flare gun and kaboom. Oh, kaboom, huh? Yep. Like the 4th of July. Fireworks. Seen at least a dozen cars with just the fin. I'd like to see... Did... did how it was the the shark a robot in this again? Obviously, because they had three different ones. They had, three different ones they had more of a budget this time um, to get the shark to work. Because in the first film, it's, it's it's a notorious story. The shark just wouldn't work. And that's why right. Spielberg. Right. Half the movie you don't see Jaws because the shark wouldn't work, which it's, ends up being brilliant because yeah, it made the movie better. So much scarier that way. Yeah. Right? You can't see what's underwater. Here is a shot of I can't remember what the girl's name Lisa or whatever she is in the water and just a near miss jaws just kind of grazes her and his gills like slice her open but she's she lives she survives 40 year old spoiler alert yeah 78 1978 40 years wow. 40 40th anniversary of this this was only the second adult movie like grown-up movie that i had seen in the theaters the first was star wars um but it was a I was definitely into sharks then, and of course that 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 uh, extended to um, that extended to like dinosaur aquatic life and then aquatic di uh, prehistoric aquatic life. And what, what is uh what is what is he doing with this gun here? Is he shooting the shark? On he's these? shooting. He thinks that it's the shark, but it's actually a school of bluefish. But the shape of it when he's looking from the uh -huh. tower looks okay. like a big hulking mass that's coming for these kids. Even he doesn't even know what a shark looks like. Yep. All right. And there 
here is after Jaws charges the kids, they're all sailing and having a good time, and then ta-da, hey, think again, you're not gonna have a good time today, man. I'm gonna, I wanna show all the chow down on some people. They have bubble gum on the back of Bubble gum, we're almost done. I'll chew on, it's you been are. a fun box break. I gotta hurry up. Fun box break. I'm getting distracted by a movie I've never seen. <laughs> well, you need to see it. I need to see it. You see, I watched the first one with my son, uh, Eli. Eli thought it was hilarious. So <laughs> the first one, yeah. It's probably because it's how fake the shark looks now yeah. compared to he's he's kids today are spoiled because they got CGI. We didn't have CGI. We had mechanical sharks that broke down. There's a classic, classic thing of Jaws. Classic close up to that. Love the Pretty wax cool. paper too. You just don't find that. It's always anymore. it's always great and good fun to have the have the wax paper. Yeah, this is really um, repetitive now. Yep. Yes, sir. Scissor. See, if this is a great example of a, a Ralphie May joke. If these guys would have went Norkland instead of Cuba diving, they could uh <laughs> they could have made it out they could have made it out alive, but they went Cuba diving and not Norkland. Here's something common in Opeachy is you get back-to-back -back duplicates. Yes. The exact same. Um, but this is the way it was when we were kids, man. I loved it. I loved the fact that we we were able to, you know, I mean, it, there, was, there was atmosphere. There was, there was, you know, an ambience to opening cards, as hard as that is to believe. Um, but a lot of fun. Here's, here's the investigators. Um, I tell you how my investigation would go. Yep, that's a shark. Yep. <laughs> don't don't want to get in the water. And we always used to. That was always a joke about these movies when we were kids. Is every because obviously Jaws Mania. Yeah, it, it spawned <laughs> it spawned all kinds of ripoffs. Piranha, Alligator, yeah. all these. And it was always some towns guy. Always some guy in charge, a mayor or a yeah. police chief or somebody who stood to lose money so they just thought well it's going to be we're just you know we're not going we're going to ignore it and hope that hope for the best and sure enough you know somebody gets chomped and, and ate and then the blood is on their hand right mm. so i don't think like some of this wouldn't fly today like there's a there's a picture here of a a young lady that says the hunted that's not a good thing that like that you wouldn't see that on cards I, yeah, I don't think I mean, you would. I know that I know what it is. You know, it's obviously a, the shark is hunting them, but yeah, the victim, the damsel yeah. in distress syndrome, right? There's here's a picture of Sean getting up on the Chief Brody's son, Sean getting up on the boat after Marge pushes him up, and she Large becomes the sa she becomes the sacrificial lamb for Jaws just comes up and. Swallows her whole. This was the beginning of Large Marge. Large she, Marge. She uh, later showed up in Kiwi's Big Adventure. Yep. And Halloween's coming up, so yes. be careful out there on the road. Large Marge might have might, might might be coming for you. You know what? The jokes alone during this break have uh, made it for me. So thank you, Matt, for letting me be a part <laughs> of it. <laughs> All right. There's Chief Brody with his pushing down the the stuff. So. We got one pack left, but we're gonna save that for our photographer Daniel so he can get a nice picture of it. We can we can put it in the system. I just so. wanna look, I wanna show all this bubble gum. Yeah, I wanna get the stickers out. I don't wanna this is all, show it, all the really it's cool just ones. firmly stuck to the back. The cameraman's doing a good job zooming in for you. Yep. That if you if any of y'all look, one piece. If any of y'all wanted some bubble gum, you let us know. <laughs> we'll hook you up. All right, I'm gonna show the, the the more iconic stuff. Sure. Put that out there. There's the iconic shot of the water skier. There's the the, the couple that was making out in the boat, and then there's Chief Brody, mm. and there's just when he thought it was safe to come back in the water. This was one of my favorite Jaws and Jaws one and two were my favorite Jaws movies. Sure. The other two just are not worth the bother. The third was in 3D, and it took place at SeaWorld. It had Dennis Quaid and Lewis Gossett Jr., which was just oh my atrocious. And then. Jaws: The Revenge was even worse, and Michael Caine. My, about the only the, the only positive about that movie is that Michael Caine played a, 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 a equi right equipping uh, <laughs> uh, uh, airline pilot too. And that one took place in the Bahamas mm. or Jamaica. I can't remember which one. It was I think it was the Bahamas. Now so, we got the Meg coming out. Yeah, we got the Meg coming out, and it'll probably be atrocious. But I'm going to go see it opening night anyway because 
I love sharks. Always have. I went to Deep Blue Sea opening night. A shark ate me. Oh, a shark ate me. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson's not in the Meg. He wasn't in Jaws, but he would have. He would have made a good Quint. He would. Yes, he would have. I'm. So. I'm interested to see how Jason Statham is going to kick this thing in the face because that's what he does in all his movies. Yeah, he kicks everything in the face. All right, guys. Uh, that's what we think. Tell us what you think down below. Hope you had fun with this. I had a lot of fun with it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, nice jaunt down memory lane. Exactly. Me. I'm Eric. That's Matt. Just keep ripping.